What's up everyone, Thirsty Dog here. Hope you've had a good week, weekend, whatever it may be, whenever you're watching this. Um, just wanted to show you something that I decided to make last night. Um, mainly because I do intend on purchasing more sealed stuff to open up, you know, stuff for myself and to share with you guys. So, I wanted to kind of make sure I was smart about what I was purchasing and for what price. So, I decided to actually do some comparison shopping and made a spreadsheet out of it using Google Sheets and one of the sites I recently bought from was Channel Fireball um, if you watch some of my previous videos you'll see all the stuff I got from them um, some other sites I've bought from are cool stuff and similar things like uh, Star City Games um, but in this spreadsheet I'm just covering these two sites so I was thinking some of these prices, I'm not sure how they compare. And then I looked at a few from Cool Stuff, and I was like, wow, there's actually a pretty significant difference difference here. So I went through and listed out all the one, all the sets that I are covered basically here. So all the expansions, including the un unsets and some of the reprints. And I went through manually to every single one of these links to get the pack prices from Cool Stuff as well as the list here on Channel Fireball. Um, it was a bit easier to get them from Channel Fireball because they have them all on one page. Well, separated by a few, but yeah. Instead of having to go to each link on Cool Stuff's website. So I went through and added each one, if it was available, that is. Um, I did not include any that were not in stock at the time. Um, <clears throat> like I know, I just bought Avacyn Restored, but Channel Fireball is not... Uh, doesn't have it in stock right now, so I didn't include it. So I ad added all the prices in here and made, made sure I checked out what the differences were. And then I also added in some logic on this column here that will indicate which one is the best to purchase from. Unless it's not available, in which case it'll say not available. Or if it's a tie, I just say tie. So taking this information if you compare some of this stuff, uh, like Cold Snap, for example, seven dollar difference. That's a lot for a single pack. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Morning Tide, five dollars. Rizilla Drazi, eight dollars. Urza's, eight, five, and ten for all three of those. So, pretty glad I did this. Uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys, give you guys a heads up. If you guys are shopping around, I don't know how many of you guys are actually interested in buying product to open up yourself. I don't know if you're a media producer yourself and want to share the same thing I'm trying to do here. But if you are, it's something I can share with you guys. I also decided to take this information that I know and create the sort of cart optimizer, if you will. And basically what I do is in each one of these cells, uh, I think I did 25 of them, I do a data validation which creates a drop down. So it's just taking this whole list here in this column and populating it. And so if you select something, it will then actually pull in which one of the resellers, resellers, uh, either Channel Fireball or Cool Stuff, is the cheapest to purchase from. So for example, say you want to get a pack of Gatecrash. That one's broken, apparently. Hmm. Okay, for some reason these cells got cleared out. Not sure why. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fix that right now. Okay. Don't know how that happened. I just used it. Anyways. There, it's fixed. So, as you see, uh, I picked Gate Crash 6th Edition and Champions of Kamigawa. And it'll pull in which vendor you should purchase from for the cheapest price and what the price is. 
And so if you populate some more, you can basically create a cart for yourself. Just choosing random ones right now. So it adds them up for you and lets you know how much it'll be for the cheapest price between the two. Um, one thing I noticed in general about the price differences, um, similar to newer within the past several years, price differences are pretty slim, as you might expect, because why would Channel Fireball sell a pack of Gatecrash, a single pack for four or five bucks, that'd be stupid. But they're, you know, they're still pretty close. But So if you're buying a bunch, though, you still might be a significant difference. Um, some of the, there's a few exceptions, like Legends, for instance. Uh, I know there's, a, I think, maybe Antiquities. Yeah. Well, in this case, actually, Channel Fireball actually does have a slightly better selection as far as what's currently in stock. Especially if you take into consideration ones that are not in stock right now that I actually just bought, like, Innistrad. So, there's that. Um, I did not include Star City Games. Well, one, because it'll make the logic for determining this column and this column quite a bit more complicated, as well as figuring out what to do over here. But also, if you notice, you go to the website, they have a lot of stuff that's not in stock. If you do a quick comparison, I just did, uh, it looks like the prices are roughly the same as Cool Stuff Inc. Maybe a tad bit higher, definitely cheaper overall than Channel Fireball. Channel Fireball. But uh, yeah, just want to give you guys a, head up, a heads up, just in case you wanted to purchase some stuff online. Ideally, you're purchasing from your local game store, but I know they also might be a little bit more expensive than you'd like. Um, they're probably closer to Channel Fireball's prices, I imagine. Um, so, if you're into saving the most money, I would definitely purchase some cool stuff. If you want to support a local game store, and if you're just buying a few packs, that's best, the best option for sure. But if you're trying to make a bunch of videos, for example, for me, I would like to spend roughly so whatever amount per month to try to make some videos to try, you know, one, to open packs because I enjoy it, but also to share it with you guys. So, yeah, that's that. I can actually share this link if you'd like, if any of you guys are interested. I also would like to maybe figure out a way to pull in this data, this price information, um, without having to manually enter it in. Not sure if it's possible or not. I know you can do some, some web calls in the background using Google Sheets. I just don't know how in-depth you can get with it. Uh, I know you can do some get requests, but I don't know how that would work with how the websites work. I mean, obviously there's probably not an API available for us to retrieve that information from, so. But uh, yeah, um, if you want to use it, at least right now, the information will be up to date. Um, I might try to update it over time if I need to. I'm not sure how often I'll be purchasing, but as of right now and in the near future, it should be good to go. I find it pretty handy. I've already bought something, uh, you know, a small cart of stuff using this. But yeah, and that's it. Hope you like you guys. Have a good day.